Hey y'all, Vampire Dracul back again with another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to show you how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox for free while bypassing the TPM and Secure Boot requirement that's now part of Windows 11. Um, so, uh, if you're getting this message right here, we're going to we're going to fix that for you. We're going to get Windows 11 installed in your VirtualBox. Ready to go. So I'm running uh, the latest version of VirtualBox that's available from their website as of today, which is October 7th, 2021. And there's a few things we're going to need. One, we're going to need a Windows 11 ISO. Uh, so links to everything I'm going to discuss here shortly will be in the description below. So uh, you'll come to this website and you can get the direct ISO from them. So you select Windows 11, you click download, it should open up uh, your language of choice, pick whatever language you wish to have, hit confirm, and that should eventually give you a link to download uh, right here. We've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that again. And then we're also gonna need a little PowerShell script slash tool bat file off of GitHub, link in the description below. And this has a, basically this has a script in there that'll help us bypass the uh, TPM checks right here. So we're gonna run that. So come up to over here and download the zip file and save that to your desktop or an area that you can remember where you saved it from. So. Um, once you have both of those on there, we're going to open up the tool from GitHub and drag and drop it because it is a zip file, so we need to extract it to work with it. Once it's on your desktop, double click it and you'll see the bat files in there. So the one we want to work with is version 2, skip TPM, check on dynamic update. So we're going to right click it and run it as administrator and click yes on the UAC prompt. You'll get a command window open up for a second, then you'll get a PowerShell window open up for a second. And it'll take a couple seconds here to run. And that's really it. After you've completed that, you can go ahead and close that window and come over here to the Windows 11 ISO that we downloaded earlier, open that up. You should get a window that looks like this and you should see setup in there. Double click on setup and click yes on the UAC prompt. Now, uh, the version of Windows that we're running is the latest one that's available from Microsoft to download via their media creation tool for Windows 10. And the only thing I have done here is I've ran the Microsoft updates and made sure everything is at current patching levels, at least as of today of October 7th. As you can see we're running 21H1 uh, OS builds 19043.1237 on Windows 10. So uh, by clicking the setup button we did a couple seconds ago, you'll see the install Windows 11. And we're just going to click next on that. It'll check for some updates and whatnot here. And it looks like updates are installed, but Windows 11 setup needs to restart for them to work. After it restarts, we'll keep going from where we left off. So it looks like it's just going to reboot on its own here. At least the app, not the, not the VM, I don't think. So we got the licensing agreement. I'm going to click Accept. I was checking for some more updates. Let that do its thing. Okay, updates took about uh, five minutes or so, it looks like there. And you ready to install. You won't be able to use the PC during installation, save files, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so if you had anything open, definitely save it. And we are going to keep personal files, install Windows. Sure, yeah, we're just going to do that default there. Click Next. And this is the install process for Windows 11 or PC where we start several times. This might take a while. So sit back, relax. We're going to fast forward the video until uh, this gets to the next point of interesting content. And we'll catch you on the, uh, the flip side there. Okay, that update install process took about 40 minutes. 
And here we are. Welcome to Windows 11, everybody. I'll log in here. But as you can see, we were able to bypass the TPM and secure boot using that bat file on the GitHub there. So we're going to let Windows 11 continue to update and do whatever it needs to do upon this first login. And here we are at the desktop. Windows 11. So yeah, uh, start menu appears right away. Um, let's check the uh, Winver. All right, we are on Windows 11, 21 H2 OS build is 22,000.194. So that's how you install Windows 11 in VirtualBox, bypassing the TPM requirement and the secure boot requirement. Simple as that. Links are in the description below for the tools we use today to complete this. Uh, if you found value in this video, I would appreciate if you... Uh, would subscribe to Vampire Dracul. If you liked it, smash that like button. And then let me know how this went for you. Um, let me know what you're thinking about Windows 11 and how you like it in comparison to 10 in the previous versions of Windows down in the comments sections below. Until next time, keep it real.